On Monday, we're going to say the Slichas of Yem Sheni. There's a Pizmin, the one we say responsibly, the Slicha we say with the Chazan back and forth, is said according to the custom of Lita on Monday, according to the custom of those who follow Minik Poland. Poland is on Tuesday. It also is appears in the Bahav Slichas. It also is part of the Ni'ila, the Trilas of Ni'ila that we say and that great moment at the end of Yom Kippur. And we say, Yisrael Neishem HaShem Chua Salamim. We talk about HaShem is our eternal salvation, and we can count on His bringing us salvation. And we call out, Gam Hayoyim Yivoshu Mi Picho Shechein Meroyimim. And we say, today too, we hope that you'll give us the salvation. And we conclude with the sentiment, the refrain, Ki Ata Rav Slichois Uval Arachimim. You are abundant in forgiveness and the master of mercy. What does it mean Hashem is abundant in forgiveness? Hashem is abundant in everything that he dispenses. Health, parnasa. why is he more abundant in slicha than other, the other aspects that we pray for? And the truth is we say this idea every day in Shemun Esrei. We talk about Hashem as the marba, marba l'sloyach. Chal mu marba l'sloyach. Hashem Whoever besieges him, Hashem is marvelous. He is abundant in forgiving. The Holy Balatanya, the Alter Rebbe, in his Igeris HaTshuva says that what we're accenting over here, what we're emphasizing, is that Hashem here more than any place else is a marvelous. Because we keep coming back and we keep failing and we keep coming back and despite our constantly not living up to our expectations, Hashem's expectations, we come back, we apologize, and Hashem continues to forgive us. In most relationships, in human relationships, if you promise and you fail, and you promise and you fail, people lose hope, become cynical, and no one trusts you, no one believes you, and they write you off. But Hashem, who's the Baal HaRachamim, never gives up, not only doesn't give up, but he forgives us wholeheartedly each time. He's a marvelous layach. That's marvelous layach. Several years ago, I was visiting Eretz Yisrael and I had the opportunity to visit with the great Makubal, the great beloved Makubal, Rav Gamil Rabinovich, who I had merited to develop a relationship with. He knew I was a Rav and I was going back to my community here in Baltimore. And he said, I have a message for you, a story that I'm sharing with you, I'm entrusting you and giving you a charge to share this with others. Many years ago, when the Beis Yisrael, the great Gary Rebbe, was still alive, there was a young man who had come from America to learn for several years in the yeshiva, grow in Torah, and Yerushalayim, and Chasidus, and he had finished his stint, he was ready to go back to America to find his Basharit and go forward in life. And he went to the Kaisal to thank Hashem. His heart was overflowing with gratitude for the privilege that he had. And lo and behold, as Ashkach would have it, his Rebbe, the Beis Yisrael, happened to be there. He went over to the Rebbe and he said, Rebbe, Rebbe, I'm so overwhelmed with thanks to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Give me something to latch on to that I can focus my tefillah, my gratitude, my thanks. Give me something to say, something to focus on. And the Rebbe turned to, him, turned to him in his very succinct and uh, quick manner, and he said, "As the Eivish de Lachnisht," and he scampered away. And what that means is that Hashem doesn't laugh at us. He was a little bewildered. That's the sum total of what I'm supposed to thank Hashem with. So he went back to the yeshiva, and the Rashi at that time was the Pnei Menachem, who eventually became the, the subsequently two Rebbes later he became the Rebbe. And the Pnei Menachem heard what he said, and he said, let me explain it to you. He says, you know, every Rosh Hashanah, every Yom Kippur, we go back, and we go back time and time again. And if we would look objectively at it, it's almost a joke. We want to change, we try to change, but how much do we mean it? And yet, we come back to Hashem, we present ourselves to Hashem, and He doesn't laugh, He takes us serious. Hashem is a marvelous leach. The main focus of Slichis is the Yud Gimel Midas HaRachamim. The Gemara says Hashem taught us this tefillah. 
And he said, whenever you need something, whenever you need repentance, turn to me and yasu lefanai kaseder hazeh. It doesn't say recite the 13 meters of Rachamim. It says yasu lefanai. So certainly it means to say it, but it means to live them, to live with the Yud Midas HaRachamim, to live with those principles and emulate Hashem's benevolence and His kindness and His understanding and His forgiveness. Perhaps what we can focus on, on this day of Slichus, is that if we want to affect the response of forgiveness from Hashem to us and that He doesn't laugh at us, we should implement in our own lives to those around us that we sometimes write off, we don't take serious. And we say, how many times do we have to tolerate? But if we want to emulate and we want to Hashem to be the marvelous Leach, we have to implement it in our own lives. Not to laugh, not to be cynical, not to write off, to be understanding, so that we too, in turn, should receive from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that he should continue never to laugh at us, continue to always encourage us, and continue to forgive us. May we be zaycha, to live and emulate the marvelous layach, so the chanun ha-marvelous layach will give us all that we need to go forward in life.